Hello everybody, welcome. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Now, 2024 is just a few weeks away and a lot of people are making plans about their career, the career goals for the upcoming year. And one of the key questions I get asked about moving into cybersecurity is from help desk professionals, you know, people who are working in IT support and they want to move into cybersecurity. They see that cybersecurity has a lot of career options, a lot of uh, like uh, good career paths and they can move up in the ladder. But the problem is, uh, they can't figure out how to do it, right? Because uh, like they can't figure out how to move from IT support to say the help desk role. So that is the whole point of making this video this week, everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you like how to move from IT support to cybersecurity and why you have so many like strengths as a help desk professional, as an IT support pe uh, person to move into cybersecurity. So that's the whole point of this video. So hopefully this helps you out if you're working in help desk if you're working in IT support. If you're new to this channel, guys, this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. I talk on a weekly basis about things like cybersecurity, cloud security, AI. So please do like and subscribe to this channel. Now, the first one, the very first thing I want to tell you about is, as a help desk professional, you want to use your strengths. What does that mean? As an IT support person, as a help desk professional, you have so many skills which you can use in cybersecurity. A lot of times, IT support or helpless people, they think they don't have any skills which move or move from IT support to cybersecurity. But that's a big mistake. I personally have hired so many people from help desk into cybersecurity and you have so many strengths. So just some of the simple ones I want to talk about. You have knowledge of IT operations, infrastructure, problem solving. You have experience with diverse technologies, communication skills, incidents, user behavior insights. And I'm going to talk about all of them just to show you what you have. The first one is Knowledge of IT operations. What does that mean? You have a solid understanding of IT operations, infrastructure, right? You, you already know how the desktops, the networking, how the all the systems are working, how the desktops are configured, how the mobile devices are configured. Usually, there are so many things you have to get involved in. All of that knowledge you already have, okay? You're not a non-technical person. The second one is problem solving. What does that mean? If you have ever worked in help desk or IT support, a significant part of your job requires you to solve problems and analyze, right? You need to go understand what, what is happening, what are the problems, you need to troubleshoot, resolve IT issues, and all of that gives IT support and help desk professionals, they give you a mindset with, which is like based around problem solving, and that is a huge, huge strength within cybersecurity. The third one is experience with tech, right? That is another strength. As IT support people, as help desk people, you are exposed to a wide, wide range of technologies, right? And user environments, and that, experience carries forward within cybersecurity because you have to interact with so many different technologies right so you already have that experience and that experience carries forward from it support into uh, cybersecurity what's next uh, communication skills uh, a very very underrated skill which uh, help desk people have you require good communication skills because you have to regularly explain non technical concepts to uh, sorry technical concepts to non technical users right and this in cybersecurity, this is such a huge skill. Let me tell you, the ability to explain these sort of things to people, right? And like the technical things in a non-technical manner, because as IT support people, you're constantly interacting with users. They're calling you for problems and you're explaining to them, this is what happens, this is what happens, right? All of that skill that carries forward from IT support to cybersecurity. Uh, what else is there? experience with incidents and of course as it support people it is impossible for you not to deal with viruses with pieces crashing right this experience in responding to security incidents it gives you a practical understanding of how these problems happen and how to resolve them and these skills directly carry forward into a uh, cyber security role and lastly what is their user insights uh, what does that mean so user insights working in it support it gives you a lot of insights into user behavior common security mistakes which people are making, such as weak passwords, phishing attacks, right? And this understanding of user behavior, it carries forward into cybersecurity, where you need to anticipate what mistakes people will be making. So I just wanted to show you, don't think just because you're in IT help desk, you don't have any skills. These are just a recap. So many strengths that you have. So don't ever feel that because you are in IT support or you're in help desk that you don't have any skills. So remember, as a recap, you have knowledge of IT operations, you have problem solving skills, diverse technologies, communication skills, experience with the incidents and user behavior insights. All of that skill you can take and then move forward into cybersecurity. So I hope this was useful and it made you understand 
So first one was realizing your strengths. The next one was deciding your career path. Okay. You need to decide what you want to do. I have made a de detailed video on this and I'll link it. But just to quickly recap, you have so many options as a entry level. You have the cybersecurity analyst, right? You can become a cloud security engineer. You can become a SOC analyst. You can become a penetration testing vet team. Or there are very, very many diverse parts present within cybersecurity. Okay. I have made a completely detailed video to help you if you're deciding on what your career path should be. But this is very important. Don't just say, I want to be a cybersecurity guy. Well, what does that mean? There are so many career paths within cybersecurity. You need to niche down and find out what career path is suitable for you, which do you like. And I've made a detailed video on this. Please do check that out. Okay. The second one is now get the relevant certifications. A lot of people jump to this part without deciding on the career path, without understanding what their strengths are. Okay. The, getting relevant certifications is very, very important. Certifications are important. Anybody who tells you you don't need certifications is like very confused. You do need, you do need to have certifications like the CompTIA Security Plus. If you're starting out, it's easily the best and most well-known uh, beginner level cybersecurity certification. It covers all those things like network threats and vulnerabilities, access controls, cryptography, risk management, all those things which you need to know. It's a good, it's a good exam to start with. I made a detailed video on the beginner level cybersecurity certifications. Uh, you can check that out also if you want to, in, in which I've covered a lot of the beginner level certifications. Okay. And if the CompTIA is like you like that and you want to build on top of it, you can look at the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. It's a recent beginner level cybersecurity certificate, which uh, Google has introduced and it helps. It, it's designed by Google cybersecurity experts. Okay. So it's not a small thing and it prepares learners for entry level cybersecurity jobs, right? If you're just starting out because they want to fill in, they, they realize the gap that is there. The good thing about this certificate is it gives you hands-on experience with industry tools like Python, uh, Linux, uh, SIM tools. Okay. All of these things, they will help you to get that hands-on experience. So please, like I said, I've made a detailed video on this also. Please do check that out. Okay. So by now, I hope you've understood that uh, what the path is if you want to move from uh, IT support to uh, cybersecurity. Like I said, you have an immense amount of experience and value to give. If you're in IT support and help desk, don't think that you're in help desk and cybersecurity is so complicated. I cannot move. All that experience you have, like I've showed you, you have so many strengths. Please use that and leverage that to move into cybersecurity. If you still need further help, guys, I have made a complete course on this, how to move into cybersecurity. I'll link it below. I was, I have been coaching a lot of people, but unfortunately, it takes a lot of my time. So I, what I've done is I've taken all my knowledge and put it in this course. Okay. It's, it's just around $20. It's the size of, if you go to, I don't know, McDonald's or KFC with your family, <laughs> it's a, just a small, uh, like, uh, that's what the cost of this course is, but it, it, I've taken all my knowledge about how to polish your resume, how to polish your LinkedIn, how to create, how to get better at LinkedIn, CV applying, how to get that experience even before you have a job. So hopefully if you are interested in checking out more, I'll link it in the description below and you can check that out. So I hope this was useful to you. Good luck on your career in 2024. And I hope you land that high paying cybersecurity job. Thank you very much. Do like and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.